Howdy guys, welcome to my house. It is now almost 10 p.m. Super Festival ended at 4 p.m. I ended up leaving maybe around 3 p.m. But uh, I'm exhausted. I spent the entire day yesterday at Fuji Q Highland, which I posted a video about that, visiting the Evangelion world there and riding some roller coasters. But uh, yeah, today was Superfest. Yay! Superfest 84. That's the first Super Festival or any big toy show that they've had since uh, COVID started. Um, I went to the one that they had back in uh, early winter. But today I actually went specifically to grab a soft vinyl toy produced by Marusan of Biolante. Unfortunately, it was sold out by the time that I got in. There was a number system and when you got there, they'd give you a ticket, they checked your temperature, they put a little green sticker on my mask to show that I had been checked and I had to wait in the line. The line actually moved pretty fast, but not fast enough to get to that Biolante, so unfortunately wasn't able to grab that. The Biolantes that I show in the video were actually a different color variant, so the one that I was after is this one. But on the positive side, since I didn't have to drop nearly $300, uh, it was like 270000 in yen. <laughs> Nima Nanasen Yen. I was able to use that money and put it towards some other stuff, and boy, oh boy, did I find some really good stuff. Real quick, I'm gonna show you pretty much most of the stuff I picked up today. Uh, there's a lot of it, so I'm gonna go quick, and you'll notice this is kind of an old school style video, like I used to do, but that's because I don't wanna spend a lot of time editing since I just edited a video yesterday, and I already edited the first four minutes of this video, so I'm gonna keep this just quick, just quick, just quick. Enjoy. Let's start off with just some really random stuff uh, that I found. This is one of the things that I kind of dive into the bin to find uh, in the video. I don't know if you see it very well, but uh, it's an Evangelion Unit 1 head, and I wasn't sure what it was, but it's mechanical. The mouth moves, and when I asked the dealer who was selling this in a bag of junk, said that this was a part of one of the Evangelion pachinko machines that someone had uh, 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 taken apart. It's actually not broken, it's just not attached anymore. So I could probably make a cool wall mount for this and uh, that'd be really awesome. But I figured I'd show that first since I did the whole Evangelion amusement park adventure yesterday. Up next, another little small random thing. A uh, pretty hard to find joint robo motorcycle. It's very reminiscent of uh, Akira. And I do collect any of these uh, omake cars and bikes that are kind of that cyberpunk style, so this was super awesome. I also picked up some model kits. One model kit I picked up was this right here, and this is actually the, um, I believe this is the San Diego Comic-Con uh, version of the Dragon Ball Mecha Collection figure that they released um, here in Japan, which I have the Japanese version already of Bulma and Goku on the bike. But the difference is that this was released with different box art, which I think this box art's better. And the model kit itself is translucent as opposed to just solid white and black. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I grabbed one other model kit. I got this Ultra 7 and the Jet, and these were not too big. And uh, you know, the sticker is very simple, and it comes with a little Ultra 7. So for the price and this awesome box artwork, I had to grab that as well. By the way, these are my pajamas, and I'm only wearing hat and sunglasses because I don't want to show my tired eyes or my ratty hair. Uh, oh, let's go for some Keshi here. Uh, towards the end, you saw me digging in a Keshi bin. The guy had a huge box of uh, Gashapon capsules full of Keshi, and I was digging for Dragon Ball, and I found quite a few good ones. These are some of the early 1990 Dragon Ball Keshi. I'm not going to show all each of these, but if you're a member of my Dragon Ball Vintage Collectors group or one of the people that follows me on there and is always hounding me for Keshi, I've got some stock because I already have all these guys. These are uh, going to be for sale. Oh. And the coolest Keshi set I got, um, I actually found on camera, was this Fist of the North Star Keshi set. And man, it is so cool. It's got a big, massive Kenshiro, this big blue mace. It's got like a, I don't know if this is like armor pads or belt buckle, but it's like Keshi, a big green one in the background, uh, and a bunch of uh, standard size characters. And like, it's got like stickers and cards and some other stuff in here. I mean, this is something I really wanna open up. I might have to do like a video of me opening this up. Uh, Michael Thornley, if you're listening, sorry. 
I don't know. This is really nice, so I might just display it like that. But this is not this is not for sale. This is for me. A lot of the stuff that I did pick up um, is either doubles or things that I uh, picked up so I could recoup some of the money back because I dropped a lot of money today. Um, another little random thing here. Uh, Yusuke from Yu Hakusho. It's a soft vinyl a coin bank from the 90s, vintage. I passed on a full set of these at Toy Cats once and they sold and then uh, me and a, a couple friends that are into this regretted not picking it up. So when I saw this for the uh, good price, I had to snag it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this or not. I like Yu Hakusho, but uh, not a super huge fan. So if you are, let me know. By the way, DM me on Instagram if you're interested in any of this, at Tokyo Toy Bastard. That's where um, you can contact me if you're interested in any of the things that I say are for sale. If I don't give a price, you feel free to make an offer. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Actually, I mean, before I get into the stuff of it, because pretty much everything out from out, everything from here on is Sophobie. Besides this, Dragon Ball Kids Goku Plush. Uh, this is from like 1992, I believe. Uh, I think my son has one, so this one is available. It was just a really good price, so I grabbed it. Speaking of chibi things from the early 90s, found a couple Shin-Chan soft vinyl figures. Uh, Shin-Chan, which is not a finger puppet, and his mom. And his mom's got all the paperwork for this series in her butt. See? Yay. Yay for butt paperwork. Oh man, I can't wait to clean all this up. And, oh my goodness, one of these scores of the day right here. You know, I'm not gonna reveal the prices of what I paid for most of this stuff. It's just not my style. Uh, unless it's something I'm keeping in my collection and it was just something so amazing that I had to share. This is one of those instances. Uh, so, as, as some of my followers know, I do collect Crayon Shin Chan stuff. And I had, not too long ago, gotten in one of the uh, action common or action bastard uh, vinyl figures that was produced uh, by Bandai uh, a, year, a year or two ago and it was pretty expensive but it had some flaws with it and I ended up just trading it off and I really wanted the original release that was made by Gigabrain but they produced an action common that currently sells for about $250 $200-$250 and I found one recently at Mandarake's Coco shop and it was Niman Gosenyan, about $250. So, you can imagine my surprise today when I found that freaking figure for 2,000 yen, 20 bucks, mint in box. Yeah. All right, soft vinyl. Actually, this is, this is soft vinyl, but it's flocked. Flocked soft vinyl. And it is Ultraman, a little, Chibi Ultraman, and yeah, he's he's got uh, flocking. He's soft, but uh, it was really cool to find one mint in box. I love the colors on this, so this is probably one that I'll keep boxed just because it looks so cool in the box. No wonder does he come with like candy and stuff? Maybe I will have to open it. Another little Ultraman. I love these little Bullmark reissues uh, by Iwakura, and I already have a couple of these. I even sold some of these recently, but this one was mint with the header card and also came with all this extra paperwork and it was a really good price so I picked it up to upgrade mine so I may put mine up for sale. And I also got an entire bag of Ultraman Kaiju and Ultra Q Kaiju. This is literally like almost every Kaiju that they released in that series of miniature Bullmark reissue figures. So um, I have the ones that I want from this. There's some really good ones in here. Like I love this Ella King and uh, and it, yeah, it's just, anyway, the ball time. If you're interested, 99% of these are gonna be for sale. So I can sell them individually or as a lot. Let me know if you're interested. Instagram, at Tokyo Toy Bastard. If you don't have Instagram, you can also email me. My email and all that information is available on my blog and all of that is linked below. Alrighty, up next, let's talk about these guys. Actually, no. Oh wait, I'll save Godzilla for last. Cause I got a lot of Godzilla. I've got another Ultraman related character. This is uh, C. Bozu. And it is produced by um, a newer vinyl company called uh, Yamomark. But it's glow in the dark and it's really nice. And it's got some really cool uh, color. I love uh, C. Bozu and I love his design. But I've never been able to find like a, a vinyl figure that I really liked of him. They always get the details wrong. Or the horns are always broken off when I find vintage ones. So this one, being glow in the dark, really cool paint, had to grab it. So I found this little guy. This is Godzilla and the Egg. This was produced by uh, Takara in the 90s. 
in the late 80s, early 90s, they released one like this. Uh, I, this is from my collection, just to compare it. This is the same figure, uh, but it's basically like this little wind-up guy that has a, a key in the side, and then he walks and moves his mouth and he shakes his tail, but he pops out of an egg. But I could never find the egg for this one. Um, I've seen them around. But then today I saw a seller had the same figure, but in translucent and glitter. So I was like, that's really cool. And it pops off of there. And yeah, I haven't really played with this or anything yet, but um, basically the key is inside and it, uh, you stick him in there and then close up the egg and twist it. And then uh, I guess he pops out and walks. So that's really, really awesome. I'll have to review those in a separate video. But I also picked up another one that's up for grabs, a purple one with uh, two different shell colors. Okay, I also picked up this little bootleg, and I love little bootlegs, this little bootleg Godzilla, uh, which is based on the original Marusan figure. And this is not Godzilla related, but it pairs really nicely with this, this little vinyl uh, Japanese post box. So I thought he looked really cool on top of this. So that's how I'm gonna display that. So really, really cool. Alrighty, moving on with more Godzilla. This was made by Kyoto, and it's a little soft vinyl kit of uh, 89 Biollante Godzilla, but he comes with multicolored parts. So he's got his, his back plates or his spikes are in pink. His tail is in what possibly might be glow in the dark. And when you assemble him, he's got that kind of candy tricolor look to him. And they had a bunch of different colors and they were selling these for really cheap. I, I kind of regret not grabbing more of these. But yeah, this is really cool. I also grabbed the very last uh, Bullmark Godzilla in this color. Since I couldn't get my Marusan on, I got my Bullmark on. And this is one of the, uh, the more recent sculpts they've done that resembles the original Bullmark Giant Godzilla. But yeah, I was happy to get this. I really like the colors on it, really nice. Actually, I forgot about, forgot about Mr. Gam Gam here. This is based on the original Gamera sculpt by Marusan, I believe, but it's a reissue. Um, I don't know when they reissued this. I'm going to guess like 1995, but unpainted, and I collect unpainted soft vinyl, and uh, got some more coming here, so we'll get to that in a moment, but yeah. Got Mr. Gam Gams, and check this out. I've got Mr. Haruo Nakajima in the Godzilla suit, and I actually ordered a couple of these, uh, the, the newer ones, with like the darker legs and the paint, um, for some people from M1. This is one of the older, original ones, and it's unpainted, so I don't know the significance of the unpainted. I don't know if this was like a special lottery version or or what's going on with this, but um, the person who sold it had no clue how much these are worth, so got this for a steal. This will be going to my collection unless you DM me and talk me out of it. Okay, now we're coming to the final items here. Um, I'm not sure which one I wanna do first. Uh, actually, yes, I do. We have an amazing vintage 1970s Bullmark knockoff giant Godzilla, complete. Usually I find these and they're missing fingers or missing toes or the tail's been cracked. This guy is clean as a whistle. He just has one eye where the paint's kind of scrubbed off, but it looks kind of cool. It's like a pirate, Arr! This is really cool. It was so cheap, I can't believe. They were basically giving this away. I see how much these usually go for over here and they've gone up in price, but undamaged, I was super happy to get this, so. Very, very happy. I love bootlegs, like I said. Actually, I got these at the same place. Just for comparison's sake, here's an official reissue of the same figure in Glow in the Dark, and then this is the bootleg. So you can see uh, the similarities. But you know, it's not exactly the same. This is blow mold, too. It's like, it feels like a Mexican bootleg. But it's made in Japan, not Mexico. Japan used to do a lot of bootlegs. All right, now here is the score of the day. I know that was a lot of amazing stuff, but this right here. So as I said, I, I do collect unpainted soft vinyl toys and I love me some Marusan Godzilla. And since I missed out on the Marusan Biollante, uh, but still got some amazing stuff, it was really amazing that I was actually able to find something very unique related to Marusan. I was looking in the basket of junk, the same place where I pulled out that bootleg Godzilla and this, and I saw some something pink just kind of sticking out of the out of this little junk basket and there was a guy going through it and he grabbed this pink thing and I was like, oh my God! And then I just waited, I was just, I was about to just knock this guy out. I was just, just 
inside already. He got out of the way, and lo and behold, I pulled out a pink, like a neon pink. It probably looks like it's lava. Um, made by Marusan, and this was released in 2008. And basically, all these unpainted ones were either from the uh, Marusan Godzilla Pop uh, event that they did, where they did, they did one in different colors. And there were also some other exclusives. Since Club Tokyo is not around anymore, I can't really look this one up, or I haven't really looked it up since I got home. But not only was there one, there was another one, slightly different pink, and a third one. Oh my gosh! I almost shit on the floor <laughs> when I found all this. So this is like my number one most wanted Godzilla figure was this one right here. But then to have two uh, slightly different pink variants was amazing. Um, to be honest, I only need the, the one that I found first. These guys are pretty much up for grabs. Uh, so if you're interested in one, let me know. But yeah, guys, that was the haul. I mean, I've never bought this much soft vinyl in my entire life in one day. It is pure insanity how much stuff I came home with. I mean, seriously. I mean, what am I gonna, where am I gonna put all this stuff? Where, where, where am I gonna put all this stuff? I have no idea. I have no idea where I'm gonna put all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, um, if you would like to help me clear some space, you know, just hit me up, send me a DM, and um, we can work something up. Hope you enjoyed this video, and make sure you like it if you did. Subscribe if you've never subscribed. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, share the link, and watch some of these other videos. I'll see you guys next time with something different. Adios.